Welcome back, everybody, to Byzantium here in EU4. I hope you're all having an absolutely wonderful day. Today is the day that we will hopefully become, or at least set ourselves up for the position to become the next emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. I am very excited for that. Uh, I hope that is the case. Uh, but yes, I hope you guys have been enjoying the run. I know I certainly have been. Let's go ahead and steer with you. Uh, we need to build a couple of these boys here. Definitely need to... Make sure that I am, that's all I really want is to get my missionary from, or missionary, my merchant from there. Anatolia Company, right. I'm not going to get one for that. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Do we have some Metropolitans we can consecrate? No, we don't. Oh, wait, I do. Why, isn't it supposed to show up with a different color? Could have sworn it was supposed to show up with a different color. I could be wrong. Like the consecrate map mode it's supposed to show up as like green or something like that. I don't know. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, oof. Well, if that's the case, if we're going to lose that manpower, we might as well spend it on something. What am I upgrading? Over here, we're upgrading. That will give us some gov capacity, reform progress growth. This will give us advisor costs, possible advisors. This one is... So we'll just spend our manpower on upgrading you. You can't lose manpower that you don't have. So you can see here, this option actually becomes much less painful. The 20% manpower recovery is, is, a not, is bad, but it's fine. We just got whatever it is, like three years of four years of progress on uh, these multi forts. So very much okay with me. So yes, we are overextended, but not really. <laughs> so that's good. Pirates have raided us. Yeah, bastards. Well, I say we get to go into war with them. How many men you got? 80,000. That's actually a reasonable, a reasonable number of men. I'll be honest. That is very much a reasonable number of men. Let's root out corruption there. I could have sworn I told you guys to uh, get on the boats, but apparently I did not. It's fine. Russian conquest of some stuff. Sounds good to me. Russia looking very good, despite the fact that they did literally nothing to help us in our war where we personal unioned Austria. Songhai will not join them. That is actually a big deal. We will uh, go off to a holy war here. And we will try to siege down a couple of forts. Let's go down to speed four just so we don't take a, uh, a bad fight here. So we need a 2017 stack. So let's see here. Let's have these guys conform to a 2017 stack. Have you guys head on down here as well. Let's actually have them grouped up with these boys over in Sayuda. These guys just get rid of them. We'll, uh, we'll use them to make another, we'll make another army eventually if we need to. The idea is just going to be to siege down as many of these forts as quickly as possible. Let's have you guys head down here with a general. Prevent them from getting on. They, they can't attack all of my men at the same time. So they're going to have to uh, pick a uh, priority, right? We are maxed out on mill mana. Hmm, interesting. Well, I guess we're going to do a little bit of mill development. And that's fine with me. Uh, these loans now... Yeah. I can repay two of them, so I will. How many do I have left? Still have three. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, they... Oof, they're definitely coming for at least one of my boys. An army of Valencia. Let's get those rebels sorted. I should have probably put them down first. There you go. Get our absolutism up just a wee little bit. Yeah, there's some armies running around. They're probably going to end up attacking me. Maybe. They're probably coming to me on Fez. I'd be surprised if they were not. Yeah, there they go. That's fine. Uh, guys, I'm winning the battle on this. They just got absolutely destroyed. What the heck? All right, let's shift consolidate there. If they're going to attack me and they're going to stack wipe themselves. Yeah, they're, they're just going to keep on piling in men. So understandable. But uh, that's hilarious how, how many losses they took right there. This is fine. I'll get my armies grouped up. And meanwhile, we're winning these sieges over here. Let's actually barrage these forts here. All right. Base tax is always nice to have. 
We stack wipe this army over here, I believe. Let's just get out of this war so I don't have to deal with this. Uh, we'll just white piece you. Don't care. Uh, Austria's got some pretender rebels by the looks of it. So let's get on over there. We'll have that army group up with them because I forgot about them. Uh, yeah, and we'll, we're just going to cross over here and do a little bit of a stack and wiping on the enemies. Should be very straightforward. This war is, is over, all, all things considered. We will take everything to touch up our lands over here, as well as Fez. I would like to maybe take this one. That extra trade efficiency is very useful. So let's see here. And then... Something like this is good. Maybe we leave their capital alone, take Clemson because it's a fort. I think that's a very reasonable peace deal. A little bit of overextension ain't never killed nobody. Oh, overextension is but a number. That is a uh, very much a, uh, a good battle for us to take. Let's head on over here, see if we can just scorch it and bait them onto that fight. Hopefully we'll win more sieges as time goes on. These guys are down here now. Of course, we don't want them to win that siege, but it looks like everything is going well, all things considered. We're finishing up our cores, which is good. We can now core or uh, get all this stuff converted. Now I will... Okay. I'm going to repay these loans here. We are going to go back indebted to the burgers. Take out a couple more. We are going to get this guy upgraded. Uh, and that will allow us to take land easier in this war. It should be good. Go ahead and... Ooh, that's a lot of Africans over here, but it should be fine. I'll take the mana. Any of the Diplo mana we can take, we want to do it. Especially considering that we are very close. Maybe not next year. Let's see here. Yeah, yeah. Next year we'll be able to take the our next idea group. I'll just keep on coming over here and killing off their armies. I mean, they're not—they're clearly not... Uh, they're split up enough that they're not going to be willing to help their friends out. So, Scorch Tugert here. Barrage these forts here. Get over to Dachra. And hopefully win some sieges. We've lost the Siege of Mecca, huh? All right. Let's get you guys out of there. There you go. Uh, half off natural scientist is pretty solid. He's 70. So yeah, let's go ahead and take the natural scientist. Production efficiency is always appreciated. Oh my gosh, that is so cheap. Look at this. Julia Roberts, level five. That is crazy. That is so cheap. That is insane. All right, cool. Let's get on to Fez now. Hopefully we win this siege. They have gotten off of that fort, which is great. I did not mean to get off of that one. Uh-huh. Let's post these armies up over here because we are going to need to uh, get to war with uh, Venice very shortly. I think our truce is up in June. Yeah. We're getting to the point now where we definitely need to start... Um, definitely need to start picking our wars appropriately. They are not coming. Very good. So yeah, we're we're winning all the sieges. We've already won them all. This is a uh, this is done. This is done. Now, am I gonna max out my mana? I am. Patriarch authority. I will do one diplo click. Actually, no. I will queue up a couple of con culture conversions. Very good. More conversions. Oh, I love it. So many conversions going on at one time. And we'll just we'll just head around and stack wipe as many of their friends as we can. I will take this right now because we'll go with influence and I'm going to just rush through this. Uh, this is going to be useful because it will allow us to annex Austria much cheaper, which we are going to do. And we're gunning it for this one because this that will seal the deal for us becoming the emperor of the HRE.
That should be a clap. Not a stack wipe, though. We hardly took any losses compared to them. It's good. No need to force march, though. Hopefully we can take Fez eventually. This fort is always a pain in the butt. So much attrition to be had, you know? All right. So this one, we're ready to go. Oh, I forgot to break with our alliance with Spain. That was a misplay. That's all good. We can call in all our friends. So superiority. There you go. They have 53,000 men. So, uh, ain't more than nothing. But, uh, there you go. That was a clap. Yeah, I don't think so, homies. This is, uh, you guys are dead. Let's see here. None of their friends want to want to get pieced out. Okay. Ah, they're keeping on attacking me. Dang it. There's so many of them. It's crazy. Do I win? There's just so many reinforcements coming in, but I think I might win. I still won. Oh my gosh. Those losses are stupid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's a, it's a show superiority war. Like we're getting so much war score from these battles. This is crazy. That is insane. Cool. Let's siege down Clemson as well. And then every fight that they, they attack us, we gain and that we win. We get plus one, I believe, to our siege status. Uh, value goes up to 14. I thought it only went to 12. I don't know. That's interesting. Very good. Uh, yeah. And then they're going to come down here and try to siege this stuff down, but it doesn't matter. Go with a defensiveness and then defensiveness here as well. 60, 74. So the siege ticks are 52 days. That is, that is dumb. That is very dumb. Now I need their friends to get out of the war. That's a uh, kind of annoying to be honest with you. They're occupying some of our provinces, keeping us from converting them, but that's okay. Shouldn't be a huge deal. Nicodemus. Um, so close, so close, so close. We just need to get... We've won Fez. Huzzah! What are you guys doing over here? You think you're going to win some sieges? I don't think so, my friends. I think that they're going to get uh, get the clobbered. Let's go ahead and get a bit of carpet sieging going on here. Sad state of affairs or nah. Let's see here. Am I, is this the last one? Admin efficiency effect of absolutism. Fine with me. Let's get on to Garb. Start sieging them down over here. Sooner we win this, the better. They're going to siege down. They are looking to siege me down over there. So let's win this siege. Where's my navy at, huh? Let's get you guys over there. Get you guys over here. This should be basically done. All we need to do is carpet siege them. Looks like Austria is over here taking care of some of that for me. Look at that. Austria, you legend. I love having subjects. Who said, like, people complain and say, like, subjects are not good. Shut up. You don't know what you're talking about. Sometimes the AI is dumb. But, like, in terms of the amount of micro that it saves you, that alone justifies it for me. Like, peop there are some people who literally think that, like, the AI is, like, completely unusable and stuff like that. Nah, man. Nah. Here we go. They took Rome. But I'm going to take their capital. Now, in this war, I'm going to take everything over here that I'm able to. AE is pretty dang bad. So, yeah, we'll come back for this. We will take all of this, though. That will actually free us up to take, get some holy wars going on over here with these guys. So, should be fine. Do I need to upgrade any ships? I do not. I have a heavy ship combat ability guy, which is great. Their best admiral is a, what, 323? Okay, so... Nothing really major for me. And this war is basically over over here as well. Got a lot of forts down here. Very annoying. <laughs> Very annoying. But I'm going to take a ton of them. Mm 
All right. Very good. No! Don't you dare! Don't you dare take Alhambra! Yeah, bastards! Don't you do it! I need that! There we go. Now we just need to... A little bit of micro goes a long way sometimes. Yeah, these guys over here being annoying. Kilwa. Let's, uh... Come down here, kill off their entire army in one fell swoop. And it looks like their navy is actually beating mine right now. Maybe not. There's a fort here on Bologna. Okay, let's force march, because that's their whole army, or at least most of them. There you go. Neutral battlefield, so that's a win for us. Absolutely a win. We've lost the siege over here of Sinai. Oh no. Let's put you guys down here. So Morocco doesn't really have an army left. 50,000. Yeah, Kilwa, man. Kilwa's pretty beefy. Pretty beefy over there. It is what it is. Are they heading over here to Milano? Let's get over, win this siege in Bologna. This will be done in December of this year. Uh, yeah, we can make, we can wait that long. And let's go with this one as well. Because this will allow us to get 5% cheaper war score uh, against both of these guys, to be honest with you. These guys are going to get us 10% cheaper advisors, which is great. This one's already leveled up. This one, religious unity and stab cost. Uh, that's fine. Where are we at? That's all I have. Cool. Right, I should probably peace out Spain. They're getting, they're giving them quite a bit of uh, relative war score here. Free admin mana or a free admin advisor who's half off. I already have one. So I'll just take the mana. It's fine. Use it for stability if I need it. It's nice to have like a little bit of admin mana banked up, you know? Uh-huh. I guess I lose some mana. No big deal. Yeah, the kill was being problematic. Kill was being problematic over here. Wall breach. You love to see it, folks. That is a large fort. Is that a level six fort? My goodness, man. And I lost the battle over here. Feels very bad, man. I was not paying attention. Let's get you guys over here with a siege general. See if we can win that siege shortly. Yeah, it's a big army they've got here. Those guys just attacked them in the mountains? Oh, it's drylands. Feels bad. No, Austria. I will not be giving you any of my land. That is a no from me, dog. Let's see if we can track down some of their armies here. Any of these like small stacks. Oh, that was a st 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 stack wipe. Oh, these losses are crazy for them. They can't handle these losses. I can handle losses. They can't. Like, yes, I'm in a manpower deficit. It does not matter. It doesn't matter at all. I kill was being very annoying though. All right, I forgot about Genoa in this war as well. I did forget about Genoa in this war. Luckily for me, they're uh, they're not going to be able to win any sieges by the time I finish this one up. Yep, this is uh, that's they're done now. Yeah, what are you going to do? Reinforce and what? Lose? Yeah, that is what will happen. So let's peace out Genoa, peace out Spain. Munster already wants out, so let's peace out Munster. Force religion, of course. This is like an old pastime of mine, is uh, force converting people in the Empire to Orthodox. It's just, it's just funny, right? It's just funny. Um, now, I actually didn't realize this. They actually passed four reforms, which is really good for the AI before, um, you know, things went, went awry for them. So these guys here are very much not feeling good. That's fine, though. I'm going to head over here. Fight some boys in the mountains? Sure. Uh, they're going to reinforce, sadly. Yeah, that's a loss for me. It's fine. 
Artillery fire, they said. Hmm. Interesting. War exhaustion is high. Catholic zealots. Yeah, bastards. We are very close to getting this extra 2.5% absolutism as well. There we go. So, Spain will get pieced out. Just a, a white piece. This is actually nice because this resets our truce. We did have a 15-year truce with them. Now we're going to have like a whatever. You know, much shorter truce than we did before. Break off that alliance. Of course you break off your alliance. Uh, diplomatically isolate people. Like That's all you really need to do. It's very powerful. And uh, get these guys occupied over here. Continue to convert everything as well. They will give me that. Very good. That's all I needed. Let's get you guys down there. Taking Miltech on the yearly tick here. Uh, I can wait until next year and I shall. No, actually, I shall not. Let's just take it now. Upgrade my cannons. Uh, go with the uh, fire. Cav doesn't matter. I don't even use it. So it doesn't matter to me. Yeah, we'll upgrade them, but it doesn't matter. Right, these guys are over here. You guys will also break off your alliance with them. Let's give them one month here. That extra two, two fire from our artillery is going to cause some massive casualties. Look at that. Oh my gosh. These losses are very much not sustainable for them, man. Not sustainable at all. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, Venice. They're going to be willing to peace out. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I'll just take that, and then I will go ahead and yoink that development. 35 development will be taken away. Makes it a lot cheaper to uh, have it. But more importantly, we're going to gain 13 development in our capital. Look at that. Constantinople's up to 66 dev. That is juicy, baby. Juicy small yay. So, we will now get morale of armies for 20 years, which is great. The sack and destruction of Venice. Uh, revenge for the Fourth Crusade, so to speak. And uh, some, some modifiers. That's good. So, uh, whatever this Odurit... Doom Matunant. Uh, and there you go. We will uh, destroy them. Get some money. Destroy the land that is now ours, right? Uh, we will also get some national unrest as well as AE impact, which is great. Um, for 15 years. So it might be time to attack these guys because lots of lots of development in this general vicinity. And it's part of the HRE. Damn. Yeah, it's going to be painful. I may, have to, I may have to wait until I become the emperor to, uh, to do that. So anyways, here's this one. This is the one I was thinking of. Uh, the 10%, 10 Patriarch Authority. Let's go ahead and get started on that. Let's go with the... Ah, I should have I should have done this one first. That's okay. Uh, I will convert this all before I do that. And I will click this button. And we shall mend the schism, my friends. The papacy is disabled. And now take a look. Catholics around the world will have the option to start flipping to uh, Orthodox. At least they should. I might be tripping. I might be tripping. Rome has been reclaimed. Gain more Patriarch Authority, I guess. And Missionary Strength versus Heretics, 10% for 20 years. That is dumb. <laughs> that is so dumb. Uh, I don't need the Patriarch Authority. We'll just click it just to uh, just to get it, though. But yeah, you can see how fast we're going to convert these things now. So that is great. That is great. Let's go ahead and make sure that these 36 guys are detached there. Have these guys hang out over here. And, uh, yeah, now we just need to siege their fort, siege their capital and stuff like that. So I guess, yeah, I, I would keep you guys on the forts. Their friends are not feeling good. They're going to want out of the war soon. These guys are very much annoying. I'm going to use my boats to head on over and get Kilwa out of there because they are punk biatches. And we'll core up everything as we are able to. You know... The fact that I'm going to get max effective absolutism kind of justifies possibly going for court and country. But our national unrest is pretty good. Trier. Why you know Trier? Did my gift, my gift wore off, I assume. Let's offer them a gift. That means I now have almost two votes. Let's improve relations with them as well. I need to scornfully insult a rival or something like that as well. Scornfully insult you guys. You suck and I hate you. That will boost up my relations with them. We now officially have two votes. And uh, that's it. 
we'll actually take the Emperor ship whenever this guy dies here. Uh, assuming it flips to us. But let's see. Can I get the Platinate to vote for me, though? That is... That would be a big one. Let's repay our 4%er so I don't have to... Palatinate can be improved with by another 12, so let's do that. And I will scornfully insult Lonshut as well. A little bit of prestige. And that will get my relations up. This should get us very close to that 20. No, that 200. Ah, oh, they're so close, man. They're so close. So as soon as we are not overextended anymore, we'll actually be in a much better spot. Let's also take um, an army. Can I force march on you guys? Yeah. Let's get those guys killed. That will actually probably get us to peace them out. They'll probably be willing to peace out now. Kilwa? No, they're not. Interesting. Okay. We're going to need these guys here. Let's have them brought over here, and we will then use them to handle these rebels. Because there's a few Catholic zealots over there. I don't want them to convert if I don't have to. So let's get you guys sieged down. They are not feeling well. Diplo relations, and that Diplo rep is going to be big, 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 big. Admin tech cost. Very good. I guess. I'll take it. And here you go. We are ready to do this as well we shall we shall soon 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 tm call for pizza they say i need to wait until i get this stuff cored up though so yeah if he dies right now we will become the emperor of the hra and it's going to be like terrible obviously nobody's going to want to vote for us uh but realistically we don't really need them to um I would like to do a revoke, but it's going to be tough as a as orthodox. It will be tough. Uh, either way, guys, I hope you are enjoying the run. And I think in the next episode, we are going to make some massive territory gains. We're going to declare war on Tuscany. As we are able to, hopefully, we'll become the emperor. We're going to attack Portugal. We're going to attack Spain, Catalonia, and France. Possibly all within the next episode. And uh, make some massive, massive gains. If you're enjoying, make sure you leave a like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell so you get notified when these videos go up live every weekday. Special thanks to ALS Gamer, LeGrand Puba, Geo, Josh Kuczynski, Azure Rhino, Blunt Damon, Ian Powell, Cannon Fodder, Corbett Gaming, Anthony Grove, Harry Newhouse, Saranska, Ricardo, Cobalt, Rex Rex, Total Farce for it, Drunk Binary, Nathan Albright, and many more. Thank you. For early access videos, check out the join button or the link in the description below.